Over the past few weeks, flipping has changed drastically as we got real-time price information for all items that are traded on the Grand Exchange. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make bank with this new meta of flipping and the best tips and tricks that I found to maximize my GP per hour. Hit that like button and be sure to check out our clan chat at Scapenomics as well as our Discord group with the link in the description below. This new age of flipping has gone from margin checking and waiting to checking margins consistently and securing shorter flipping windows. Although this is the case, I don't think it's all about speed at the end of the day. With patience, you can still land very large margin flips, especially on those high-end gear items like the Elijah or the Twisted Bow. Before we get into this flipping session and talk through these new meta strategies, I need to point out this tool that I'm using. Because the price information is so important across items right now, many people are using Excel or Google Sheets to make real-time price information available across a bunch of items in an easy format to read. Right here, I have a tool that is built that will show the top margins across items, and it's going to help me track real-time information. Now, while unfortunately this tool is currently private at the moment and I can't share it, I believe that similar tools will be created by sites like GE Tracker in the near future, and when they do, I'll be sure to review them. Let's go ahead and list some flips using the price information below and follow some margins. Got our first few items listed. Now, the strategy is different than how I used to flip because I focus on less items. Now, you'll see I have five items listed here with three additional slots left. I'm going to use those additional slots to sell items as they come in. I find it a lot easier just to manage a couple of items with this new meta because honestly, it's very hard to balance a lot of different items and really fill up your grand exchange with buy offers. So, kind of downsizing and focusing on just a few items, maybe three to five items is really the easiest way to keep track of your prices and I've just found it to be the most lucrative way personally as you can chase the margins a little bit more frequently and more focused. Already smacking a massive margin on these dragon claws like almost 400 I think it's 440k each currently on each pair of dragon claws which is insane uh, so I'm very happy we caught that for this video. Again, margins trade extremely quickly and things fluctuate at a lightning speed, so it's very important that you just stay on top of your items, make sure you're on margin for everything at every moment in time, and currently right now it looks like we're pretty good besides these Sanguesti salves, so as soon as you see the margin move up on your whatever tool you're using really, if you're using the, the wiki itself, that's fine. Just keep in mind that as soon as that shifts and you're not on margin, you should adjust your offer if you are active flipping. There are certain situations where you don't want to adjust things, but we'll get into those as this video goes on. We're already up 2.1 mil on the session, which feels pretty good. Basically being led by these dragon claws, super good margin on them right now. As you can see, 435k profit for every single one that we do flip. And we're flipping right on that margin too, which is absolutely incredible. Really working out right now. In this new meta, I don't think you should focus on flipping the entire limit of an item. Just kind of shift your items around depending on where the margins are. And if you, you know, translate one of your offers into another offer in attempt to make more profit and that new item isn't working out for you, just move on. There's tons of opportunities now. Prices are changing very, very rapidly with this information. So if you miss an opportunity in, you know, a one to two minute time frame, just move to another item because there's so many good items that you can choose from to make a decent profit. For example, you can see here that the Scythe is currently trading for about a million GP in profit, while the Elijah is trading for about 1.5 mil in profit. If we shifted to the Scythe of Vitur, we'd probably be able to flip that a little bit quicker. If we get enough money on hand in the short term here, we'll definitely cycle into that Scythe, but we might not be able to. Another tip I have is anytime your price gets recorded, onto the wiki, you're going to want to adjust your offer. So in this example, my buy price on the Sanguesti staff was just adjusted. Oops, I misclicked it there. It basically just moved from four, what was it? 74 million, 315,000, which is where we were buying them before. And since that displayed on the wiki, I'm gonna to wanna to adjust my offer to be above that buy price. So that way I can beat out the competition. It's important to keep in mind that not all items have to be adjusted every single second of the day. For example, um, we're not currently on margin for the Elijah Spirit Shield yet. We are listed correctly, but we haven't bought in one yet. And that's typically a pretty low volume item to begin with. With, right so the elijah spirit shield is not something you want to rush other items that fall into this category are inquisitor pieces 
and the Harmonious Orb or Volatile Orb or the Eldritch Orb. Those are all lower volume items that you really don't need to rush even if you're on margin. Just be very patient and if the item jumps a couple mil in the short term, just hold your offer there because honestly it will fill a lot of the time and I'll try to show you an example of that. As you can see we're slowly racking up some profit here, about 3.2 million GP so far and we're only 12 minutes in so it's looking like a really great performance as of right now. While we're waiting for these items to come in, another tip I wanted to give you guys is that the more uncommon or smaller of a margin that an item has, the less competition you're going to have on it. All of these large profits here are going to have a lot of competition because they're obviously going to flip for the most profit, right? So people are really going to try to hunt these. But if I go down my list, you'll find opportunities that have smaller margins that are still good opportunities, especially for smaller cash stacks. So just try to get a good list going with some uncommon items on there. Keep checking up on their margins. For example, Varex Plate Skirt here, you could flip 15 of these for a 15k margin, 237k in profit total. That's pretty good for a smaller cash stack of around 15 to 20 mil. And even for smaller cash stacks, I really do think they should start focusing more on the medium to low volume items just because we have the price information available now and it makes it way easier to actually hit those margins. Since we're talking about volume, I also wanted to point this out. Off peak flipping or flipping when there's not a ton of people online is by far the best way to make a lot of money per hour with this new meta because when less people are online you're going to have less competition on your flips making all of those higher margins really easy to hit considering there is less competition and if you're flipping during peak times you might struggle to actually secure a margin as things are fluctuating extremely extremely quickly. And I've just found that in my testing, I make almost three times as much when I'm flipping during an off-peak time. So I highly recommend trying to flip when there's not a lot of people online. And you know, if you live in the States, that's usually pretty late at night. If you live in Europe, then that's probably around the morning sometime. You'll see here that I'm canceling my offer on the Imbued Hearts. I'm going to actually turn around and sell these on the Grand Exchange. I kind of forgot about them and was not paying attention and com the margin completely ran away on me. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to cycle back into this item. I'm just going to list the three Imbued Hearts back and just try to move on to a new opportunity. And those Bandos Tacits are selling literally 250k for each Tacit we flip at this level, which is freaking insane. I mean, I've never seen margins like that on the Bandos Tacit ever, and we just sold another one. So we're already at 4.1 mil in this session, literally 16 minutes in. This might be one of the best sessions I've had yet. As you can see here, the Sanguesti staff margin has come down just a little bit. Someone started selling them for 74.5 mil, and I was at 74.55 mil. So I immediately knocked my margin down to 74,490, and that way we are most likely the lowest offer on that. And as you can see, we just sold another one. So it's a lot of monitoring your flipping tool to see if the margins have moved or not, or monitoring the wiki, whatever you have access to. You really have to stay on top of your items because especially with this like medium to low volume stuff, you want to have that most competitive offer for people to buy up on the grand exchange. And since you have the price information available, there's really no reason that you shouldn't have the best offer for the buyer. And as you can see, we did get the Elijah Spirit Shield as well. So we're going to try to turn this around here. This one's not looking as good because you can see that the sell price just came down to 1 billion and 26 million. Previously, it was one, uh, I think it was 1 billion, um, 26 million and 800,000, I believe. So I'm actually going to list it a little bit above margin in this situation just because this is a low volume item. And as you can see, the price was updated not super long ago. If it's orange, that usually means it's like three minutes ago or so. So I'm going to go list it for 1 billion, uh, tw 26 million and maybe 500 or we'll do 490,000 uh, and we'll see if we can get that off. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to be as big of a margin as I was hoping for on the Elijah, but we'll cycle back in at a cheaper price if we get the opportunity. Just finished up on the Bandos Tacits as well and the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. 300k on the Dexes in total and 2 million on the Tacits. That is by far the largest margins I've ever had on a Tacit in my life. By the way, these Guardian Boots are a really good item to flip for smaller cash stacks. I've had really good margins on them the past couple of days. Currently, we're getting 106k for each one we flip at this price point. Here's another quick tip. I know I'm listing a bunch of stuff for you guys to keep in mind, but I'm just kind of doing a brain dump of all the tips I've learned. 
Here with the Scythe of Vitura, you'll see there's only a 162k margin. If you see an item with a margin like this, and the prices might be a little bit outdated, you can list at like 575 mil underneath the margin and hope to catch some people dumping the items. That's how you really get those larger margins. It's really when an item gets stale and you list underneath to try to buy one for cheaper and then you sell it back to the exchange for around where it's trading even though the price information is outdated. I've been able to smack really large margins with that. I did a 4.2 Elijah Spirit Shield flip actively by doing that strategy. So I'm hoping we'll run into that situation here today. Um, we could do it on the scythe right now, but I don't currently have enough cash on hand to actually try it. So I'm just going to leave it for now. If we get enough money in our hands, I will give it a go. We need to keep a close eye on this Elijah Spirit Shield because, again, this margin is becoming stale and we do have one in our in our inventory here so we need to be very careful with that this could come down in price or it could go up in price it's uh really up to rng at this point still slowly walking the sanguesti staffs down in price you can see someone just sold them for 47 million four hundred fifty thousand, and we were a little bit above that so i've knocked it down about another 20k staying very competitive on my listings trying to get all of them off before you know they're not in a profitable range anymore and that's what i think your strategy should be don't try to hold things for too long if you're just trying to flip them very quick and snipe some prices um, because you don't want to hold them on a downtrend as you can see, we're on margin for a lot of this stuff here, and none of the prices has been, have been updated yet, so that's great. And basically, that's what you do. You monitor your margins to make sure nothing moves around too much, and you just keep a close eye on things. Even if the item hasn't bought or sold in a while, but you're still on margin for it, just leave it. It will likely buy out. Getting a little bit scared of this Elijah at the moment, so I'm going to try to sell it for a small margin. We're still profitable though, but I just want to get out of it because you really don't want to hold on to something for too long if the price information hasn't been updated. Although that is where you can get the biggest opportunities, it's better if you are buying the item and you're seeing that situation than if you have one on hand because if it does go in the downward direction, you are going to lose some money as where if you're still trying to buy it, you can list it really cheap and hope to snipe a cheap item and sell it back. So to kind of mitigate a little bit of risk, I'm going to try to sell this back for a small margin Maybe we'll cycle back into it at a cheaper price. We'll have to see. I really feel like the meta has changed for flipping with smaller cash stacks a lot. You should be hunting those medium volume items that are just a little bit, you know, not traded as much really. Like, for example, Vigoras would have been a great option. Like, Twisted Horns you could even do. Uh, anything that's coming up on this list that doesn't require a lot of capital to flip. Hydro Leather is a great one as well. Just scrolling through this list, Varox Armor Set's really good. Things like that. Elder Maul's great. Just small items, they're still going to have the same opportunities on them. It's just going to be better to flip them at an off-peak time, as well as just making sure you're staying on top of that margin. It's going to be very important. And as you can see for that Elijah, that is exactly what I did not want to happen. It shifted down in buy price, so someone was able to buy one for about a million GP cheaper, which means this item's likely coming down pretty aggressively. The person who bought this is likely going to list at like... I don't know, I'd say 1 billion and 25 million, so it's not looking really that great for us right here. We're still profitable if we can sell at this price point, but it's not looking likely. We're going to hold through the storm. And there we go, bad news on the Elijah. You can see that someone sold one for a billion, 25 million, 111,000. So we're currently above margin on that. It might swing in our favor, it really depends. Probably not likely though. So we are looking at about a 500k loss if we do sell it for its sell price here. If we can get it off at this price level, we'll still be in a profitable range, but it's quite unlikely at this point. I'm going to give it a couple minutes, but I am going to adjust that down as quickly as possible. We might want to cycle back into it for a cheaper price. It really depends. And oh no, not like this. We got to get out of it. While we have a moment here, I just wanted to ask you guys, how have you found the new meta of flipping? Do you guys like it more or do you like it less? It definitely requires a lot more work, but honestly, when you put in the work, you can make a very good profit per hour, uh, almost better than I used to be able to make, really, which is which is really awesome. I mean, we don't have to pay for margin checks. That's kind of nice. But again, it's a lot of work, a lot of competition out there. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. I'm always curious to know how you guys are impacted by certain updates. And this one directly impacts flipping so much that I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. We've just been cycling this Arcane Spirit Shield back and forth a couple of times. It's been making us a good amount of profit here, as well as this Dragon Hunter Crossbow. That's doing really good as well, although the margin was a little bit smaller on, on the sell offer here than I was originally anticipating, so uh, not nothing too bad about it, though. 
we canceled our offer for the scythe because one just sold for 575 million and we were listed at 574 and 605,000. So 574 million, 605,000, excuse me. And so I removed my offer there because this thing's likely to come down in price. But as you can see, watch this. Now we're gonna list underneath the margin because we're expecting an aggressive downward movement, right? So we're gonna list for 573 million, 250,000. And we might be able to pick up a cheap one on a mini flash crash here. Currently up about 7.7 .7 mil on the session. Of course, I'm gonna share with you guys the profit at the end, just keeping you guys updated as we go through this flipping session. One thing I love to do while keeping track of my items is if I see a good margin, but it just doesn't look great at the moment, I'll cycle out of the item and come back to it later. I'll keep it on my list to kind of keep reviewing and keep my eye on, but oh my god, this Elijah is killing us right now. Holy moly, we are down a lot on this Elijah. Uh, probably about 3 mil at this moment in time. I can't get it off. Very nervous about this. I want to cycle back in at a cheaper price to try to make up for this loss we're going to take. But honestly, I don't know. This thing is crashing so aggressively. Currently down about 5 mil since we got into this. Uh, it's going to be a very sketchy situation with this one. Luckily, a lot of our other flips are going very well, so we can kind of cover for this loss we're going to take, but it's definitely not my preference to lose a lot of money on this thing. It's never fun being stuck on a crashing item. You don't want to try to freak out on these fluctuations, although I'm freaking out a little bit as this thing's coming down rapidly, uh, and it's a little bit scary seeing this thing trade for 1 billion and 20 million flat, especially on the selling side, so currently there's some downward pressure there. Very nervous on trying to get this thing off. I don't want to rush it, but at the same time, I don't want to hold it for too long. So every couple of minutes, I'm going to keep hiking the offer down until we are able to get it off. Fingers crossed, it's not a horrible loss. It does look like my prediction was wrong, and the Scythe of Viteur actually looks like it wants to go up in price here. So I'm still listed underneath the margin, but only by about 200 to 300k. We're going to try to pick one up for a little bit of a discount since we are currently down on this Elijah. We need to make some profitable flips and we need to get into them in a safer method than we would get into some other flips. So the Scythe of Viteur just bought for 575 mil as well. So you can see the margin is really, really tight on the Scythe, which is good. That means it's going to make a big movement up or down here in the short term. It's looking like it's going to go up, but I'm hoping it goes down. Oh my goodness. Look at this Elijah completely destroying us right now. Um, this is really, really tough, uh, from a flipper standpoint, like, what do you do? Do you sell it? Do you try to get back in for cheaper? Do you wait and hold it rebounds? Or, excuse me, hope it rebounds. It's never an easy situation to make as a flipper. It's so great we get to do this on video here for you guys to show you how I manage the situation. You know, this thing is crashing really aggressively. I mean, I hope it doesn't keep coming down. I do expect it to rebound. It's been dipping a lot and then aggressively rebounding over the past few days. So I do imagine we're going to be in a profitable situation on this at some point uh, as far as cycling back in goes. But right now it is really not looking good. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep following it down. We're, we're losing mills by the minute on this thing. It's going to cut into our profits immensely. But this just goes to show you that just because real-time prices are available does not mean flipping is necessarily easy. It can still be very, very complicated. This is the first time uh, since the update with the real-time prices that I've had a situation like this. So I find it very detrimental and items are more likely to either shoot up or drop in price with this real-time price information. As people can see, the item price movement and they kind of freak out right they try to sell it right away if you hold through the storm you can be profitable uh it's just a very very hard thing to first of all determine what to do and second of all emotionally it's pretty tough because these are quite some large price fluctuations uh we're talking millions of gp this is risky, but I keep seeing the buy information for the Elijah Spirit Shield update, so I have a feeling this thing's actually going to swing back in the upward direction. Not positive, but if that is true and my thesis is correct, we could save a lot of money by just holding this thing in the short term. So I am going to risk it, hopefully there's no more downside. If I keep monitoring this and there is more downside, I will have to adjust my situation from there, but currently it looks like we have a lot of buy offers coming in as the buy price keeps updating and no sell offers has got, have gone through yet. So I see a lot of upside potential in the Elijah at this point in time. Feels like a lot of people are buying in. And as I say that, uh, there is a lower offer that went through 
and the sell price was updated as well. I'm going to try to pull some of my money here to try to get in on another Elijah Spirit Shield, buy another one, just so we can average in on these cheap prices. It's not going to be that easy since we have a couple of items still trying to sell off here, but I'm going to keep a close eye on everything, try to make some profit here, clear up some cash, and really cycle that into another Elijah Spirit Shield. We just passed the 10 mil profit mark in just under an hour, which is great, but the Elijah basically is going to kill all of our profits at this price point, which is why I want to try to buy another one here, and we need to just sell off the Ancestral Robe set or the Ancestral Robe top to clear up a little bit more GP, hoping they sell very, very soon. All right, we're going back in for another Elijah Spirit Shield, believe it or not, for 1 billion and 8 million GP. Way lower than we bought our first one, but anytime you see an item, especially a high margin item, fluctuate in a downward direction very rapidly, you want to try to flip it, especially if you're down on one of the quantities. So, for example, since we have this Elijah, which we bought for, I think, 1 billion and 25 million, I want to cycle back in and try to flip some Elijah Spirit Shields during these large fluctuations to hopefully make some large margins on them and try to cover for the cost that I'm going to lose on this first Elijah that I have. So that's my goal with cycling back into the item, try to flip a few to average out our loss and hopefully lose less overall. All right, we just picked up our second Elijah. Fingers crossed, we're going to try to squeeze like a 3.5 mil margin on this thing right here. Uh, I'm hoping for the best. We'll see what happens. We tried to get in, and the second Elijah, we're down on it again. Someone bought one for 1 billion and 6 million. Guys, this is insane. We might be looking at some huge losses on this video. My profit tracker just got completely messed up as it thought we just sold the first Ellie, but we actually didn't. So currently it says I'm down about 6.4 mil, but we actually just made money on that last Elijah and basically made no profit on it. But I got scared because someone bought even lower than I did. So I was a little bit nervous. I wanted to get out of that flip quickly. We went back in and listed for even cheaper to see if we could pick up another one. Am I dancing with fire? I think I am. Quick update, I've kind of stopped flipping. I'm just trying to get these Elijahs moving back and forth. I have one listed super low and the other one still listed at around 1 billion and 19 million. Again, still taking a loss on that. But that being said, we have been sitting around 1 billion and 6 million on this Elijah price for quite some time. And it just finished and leaped up to about a billion and 9 million. So I have a feeling that this might start trending back up again. I'm going to see if this buy offer adjusts anytime soon. And if this sell offer keeps increasing, if it does, I'll likely cycle back into the item and try to ride the wave up with another Elijah on hand. I don't know how high it's going to go, but I do want to trade that momentum in the upward direction. Really, really, really good news, guys. The Elijah is coming back up in price, it looks like. Looks like we one just got sold for a billion and 14 million, basically 15 million. So I actually pulled my offer out for this Elijah Spirit Shield, the one we have to sell. I'm going to cycle back in for another Elijah Spirit Shield, um, actually at a cheaper price as well. We're going to go a little bit above this buy offer here because it hasn't been updated in a while. I'm hoping this works. I hope hopefully we're not buying in for too high again. I think this is fine. I think we will be able to hit this margin. We'll have to see. Lots of people buying into the Elijah right now. It's already up to 1 billion and 22 million. I moved the offer on our Elijah to be above where we previously bought the item. Maybe we can make a little bit of profit out of the situation after all. Would be absolutely incredible if we did and would be a great moment for this video. No way, guys. An Elijah just sold for 1 billion and 26 million, which is above our original buy price. I really have a good feeling about getting this Elijah off here at 1 billion and, or 1 billion and 29 million. Excuse me, a little bit of dyslexia. It's not that easy for me to read these numbers, but so excited to see that. I'm trying to get another one still, although I think I'm a little bit behind on my buy offers. But again, since we have one on hand, I don't want to get too risky and chase the next Elijah too aggressively. Looks really good for us right now, though. Looking forward to this price. Profit. It looks like there's a little bit of price resistance right now. Someone is selling a bunch of them at 1 billion and 26 million. So I listed my offer underneath there. This is basically for a break even if we sell it at this price point. I think we make actually a little bit of profit on it. Let me take a quick look here. Um, but we'd be making about 200k if we sell it off at this point. But that being said, if we can escape this flip unscathed, that would be insane considering the ride we've been on with this Elijah Spirit Shield. Still trying to buy another one. No luck yet. We'll see what happens. There we go. We walked away with a 200k profit. 
you know, not as good as I was hoping. I was hoping to get a couple mil profit on that, actually, but we s escaped the flip without any major losses, still averaging 5 mil an hour, and we're currently up about 12.4 mil on the session. Wow, that was insanity. I cannot believe we escaped that. Uh, but that just goes to show you when these flash crashes do happen, there is opportunity, but you just don't know how low the price on that is actually going to go. So we did escape luckily, but man, that was quite the wild ride. That is going to wrap up our flipping for this video. In this session alone, I made 12.4 million GP in a little bit over two hours, averaging about 5.2 mil an hour, which honestly is pretty good considering we spent a lot of time on those Elijahs, about an hour, and we held it through that crazy price swing. So honestly, very good profit per hour in this video. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. It really does help me out a lot. As time goes on and I discover more strategies with this new real-time price data, I'm going to bring you guys more content and more videos. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.